I'm John Dunn in the Bora Masters U65 Command Center, and I'm excited to say that racing is back thanks to Randall Huskamp and his Midtown Racing Team. They're putting on the Kenwoods Memorial Road Race this Saturday. It's like three weeks later than usual and hopefully about 40 degrees warmer. So we are going live right now to reporter John Dunn, who is on the course doing some recon to see what might be new since the last time we raced this course. Well, John, I am out here on the familiar stretch right after you make that first right-hand turn going south on Goodhue Highway number one, but it's not as familiar because if you look, you can see it's concrete. It's concrete for the whole six mile stretch south with a nice looking uh, uh, shoulder with rumble strips. There's also an inch to about a half inch lip from the concrete to that shoulder. So that might make for some interesting maneuvers if the wind like today is out of the southeast. If people are trying to ride tight onto the gutter to try to stay uh, protected out of the wind or not let anybody get in their draft. Thank you, John. We'll check in with you a little bit later. Hey, what I'm seeing in the video is that there's the rumble strips, that treacherous lip, and also there's a significant drop off to the, to the edge into the ditch. Wow, you gotta watch out for that. And what else you gotta watch out? Mailboxes. Well, John Dunn has made it to the westbound section. Let's check in with him. Uh, he, he seemed to have a little bit of a drippy nose. I wonder if he's been able to wipe that down. Well, westbound on that southern leg. The road's pretty much the same as it's always been. Remember those rollers? Right now I've got a good tailwind. We'll see how it shapes up on race day. Back to you in the studio. You're watching the Bora Masters U65 pre-race recon show. I'm your host, John Dunn, and we're going back out on the Kenwoods course with reporter John Dunn. Now I'm heading north on uh, Goodhue 14. It's that kind of last straight with the, the downhill, a couple curves. Uh, good news here, this looks like there's brand new tarmac. Looks like the uh, blacktop was laid about a year ago. Smooth sailing, again, some rumble strips, but definitely a smooth ride all the way up to that final turn and up the uphill. Looks like that new pavement should be fast on that curving descent we all know and love. And maybe riders will be able to carry a little bit more speed up the short climb that's about at that 16 mile marker on each lap. And then it's on to the uphill finish. Let's check in with John Dunn live on the course for any updates on that eastbound finishing section. Well, I got to say, John, the hill up to the finish, no new changes there. It's uh, still up, takes that little windy road uh, up and bends and keeps going up. Hey, uh, John, can I just interrupt you? Uh, we have heard some rumors that might make some riders very, very happy uh, that due to some odd geological activity, the finishing hill is not quite as steep or, or tall as it used to be. I know there's been some rumors to that effect, but no, the hill has not come down due to any erosion. It is still the same elevation and it's still about two miles to the finish. Thanks so much, John Dunn. Grab yourself a Kleenex, and we'll see you out there on race day. Hey, one quick correction on that finishing section. While it might feel like two miles, it's really more like 1.7. And that's important if you're timing your sprint, like Brad Westman did a few years ago, to beat Tom Gunderson at the line. Hey, that's it for us. Let's race! <laughs> 